All right, well, my nose might be running right now, but it's like uh, early winter, and it's beautiful out. I mean, it is gorgeous out. Um, I'm actually kind of sweating a little bit in my long underwear, so really, really beautiful day. I am at Everett's Resort. If you're not familiar with Everett's, 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 Everett's or Everett's? I want to say Everett's. I really should know how to pronounce the name of that resort right there. I've been here a few times, but amazing place on the Mississippi River. We're going after walleyes and saugers. Hopefully my graph is going to work. I'm having a hard time finding the bottom. Super annoying, but there's a lot of fish here. We should be able to catch them anyway. So let's get loaded. Ugh, just missed one right there. I have no idea how deep of water I am. It'd be nice to know exactly how deep of water I am, but my graph is not working. So I gotta go old school. I'm lining up the edge of the dam here where the first uh, concrete pillar comes out, the very first one, and then there's kind of a rock pile on the shore right here. Old school, very, very old school. I think I'm roughly in about, I, I sort of can sort of see a depth. Uh, I think I'm roughly in about 20 feet of water right here and I, I just had a bite. Oh, there we go. One on the blade bait here. Oopsie daisy. All right. Didn't exactly get it in the mouth, but I'm sure he attempted and just got it into the cheek there. That's a walleye. Kind of a nice eater walleye there. First fish of the day, so uh, I'm happy about that. Not a bad one. Nice. Look at how he's really displaying that dorsal fin. He's a very proud walleye. All right, buddy. Thank you there, buddy. All right. Well, it felt really good to catch that fish. I'm not going to lie. I've been trying to catch uh, these fish on a... Uh, this is actually a 3 8 ounce uh, bee fishing uh, tackle, just their standard jig head here. Um, but this is, you know, 3 8 ounce, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a big jig head. Oftentimes we'll use a half ounce, maybe you can see it better there. Um, but it's all about just being able to get that bait down to the bottom. And then reel up 6 inches with these plastics like this. This is a gulp minnow, 4 inch minnow on here. Um, but you reel up four inches once you find the bottom reel up, you know, four to six inches, something like that, and just hold it oftentimes. You don't even have to really jig it if you don't want to, and, and they'll come and grab it. But I have not been doing real well with that right uh, now. So I moved to this blade bait, and this is called a steel shad. And this is a half ounce uh, steel shad blade bait. And really all I'm doing, very similar uh, to the four inch uh, gulp. Um, you know, I'm making sure I, I feel the bottom with it and then I'm just jerking, let it sit to the bottom, jerk, go to the bottom, jerk. And that's really all I'm doing with, uh, with this blade bait. So we'll uh, continue with the steel shad and hopefully catch more walleyes. Nice bite. Just dunk. Come here, buddy. Another walleye. Hello there, bud. And this one on a gulp. So we're just kind of. He, he wants to eat it, which is typical with gulp. 
another walleye. He's uh, trying to get out of my hands, and I don't blame him, but the way you can tell a walleye, that white, uh, that white spot there on the tail fin, that's the dead giveaway, and saugers don't have that, and they got spots. Uh, saugers got spots on the dorsal, so there you go. We are losing daylight. Let's get this guy in the water. But yeah, with knocking stuff all over the place, but um, with uh, with plastics, you're just dropping this thing down. Let's kind of get back on the line here, like so. Yeah, so you're just dropping it down. And I'm in about, right now, my stupid graph is telling me it's 12 feet here, which is a little shallow um, for the daytime. I typically like to be in 15 to, you know, 15 to 25 feet is kind of a good depth in the, in the daytime, you know, around there. It's kind of a broad depth range, but you're, you're basically, in the daytime, you're just... Um, you know you're looking for that that break in the channel a lot of times that's often I mean that's basically what all these guys down here are doing they're right on the break uh, into the channel here so you can hopefully you can see this the the number of guys so uh, shallower over here and it breaks into the channel and then it comes back up and you can see the next group of people they're on the other side of the channel fishing that break so what you do with plastics, just drop it down, run that break, and you uh, feel the bottom, reel up like six inches and just hold it. And that's often how you'll, you'll catch them this time of year. There's one. There's another one. Oh my goodness. What we got here? Is this the first sauger? Yes. This is a sauger. And it's also kind of a cigar. It's got uh, it's got spots on the dorsal fin and no spot on the tail fin. Alright, buddy, thank you. All right, well, not a not a bang up day by by any means, but it was still nice to catch three. I mean, it's like you know, the beginning of winter, and it is so unbelievably nice out right now. It's just like calm, nary a wind, um, really really comfortable out. So this is very very rare, and I just had to get out um, and and uh, and try this. I'm gonna try this as long as it stays into the 40s. We we have even uh, in the next week. It looks like we have a couple days in the 40s. So I'll be down again for that. It's a it's a really cool fishery, very unique. One of the bad things though is that upstream of me is the uh, nuclear reactor that keeps this open uh, all winter, and they've closed down. They've shut down the reactors. So I don't know what that's going to do for winter fishing. Well, I, I kind of have an idea what it's going to do. It's going to shut it down soon. But as long as we keep having nice weather, this will stay open. Uh, when winter finally does arrive, then we're in trouble. This is going to just absolutely freeze up. So I'm enjoying it while I can. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like the video. Uh, share all that fun stuff. And... Um, Let's see, what else? Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow all that good, good stuff. Thanks, guys.